how to make eggs four different ways on a flat top grill. Let's do this. Welcome back everyone. First thing you gotta do is get your temperature correct on the griddle. You want it between 275 and 325. This is very important to not burn the eggs. When I worked at Bob Evans, the egg grill was always at 325 degrees. This is low on my camp chef, but it could be different on your griddle. So get an infrared thermometer, get it to the right temp, or if you don't have one, just cut the heat off altogether and cook them at the end of your meal as it cools down. You always want to cook your eggs last anyways because they don't hold very well. The first egg we're going to cook is a sunny side up. We'll put the oil down, then we're going to crack our egg. Little pro tip here, always crack your egg on a flat surface, not on the side of the griddle or the side of a bowl. This will reduce the chance of getting shells into your egg. My definition of a sunny side up is the whites are cooked all the way through and the yellow yolk is still runny without flipping. First what I'm doing is taking some of the hot oil off of the griddle and putting it on the whites that are right around the center of the yolk. These are the hardest ones to get cooked so I like to put some oil in there. Then I'll take the tip of my spatula and kind of start pulling away at those whites. See me pulling away that opens it up so more whites can touch the griddle bottom and get cooked. And this is just a good way to get those whites cooked all the way through without burning the bottom of your egg or without having to use like a ton of oil on the griddle and then have the oil flow over the top and cook the whites that way because that's another way to do sunny side up eggs. But you got to be careful when doing this or you could catch the yolk like I did here on this cook. You can see I caught the corner of that yolk and it just started leaking on me. So it can get a little dangerous. You might pop it if you're not too careful. Make sure you're only getting the whites when you're doing that. As you can see, the bottom of my egg is still white. It's not burnt. That's because of the temperature. And that's because I'm not leaving it on there forever because I pulled out the whites with the tip of the spatula. And that's my goal. I don't like a brown bottom to my sunny side up. You can see that little pocket of white right next to the yolk. Those are the last ones to get. They're real hard. So again, I'm scooping up the hot oil off the griddle. And again, I'm just pulling it out a little bit. And pretty soon it all sets up. And then that's how you got yourself a sunny side up egg. Next, we're gonna do an over easy egg. Put down a little bit more oil again, spread it around, grab myself an egg. My definition of over easy is the whites are cooked all the way through. The yolk in the middle is still runny and not cooked at all, but you flip it over for a little bit and just cook the other side. I'm also pulling the whites out again on this one, just like I did with the sunny side up egg. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it easier when you flip it. You don't have to hold it for that long. Also, the white right next to the yolk can create that little pocket and it may seem like you've cooked it all the way through, but you haven't, and you'll still get that snotty runny white, which is just, uh, nobody likes to have that, it's disgusting. So, I pull the whites out, then when I flip it, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it and let it sit for like 10 to 20 seconds. That's all you need for an over easy egg. If you want over medium, you let it sit for about a minute, minute and a half. If you want over hard, you just let it sit until the yolk cooks all the way through. I don't know who eats over hard eggs. I probably made two of them the entire time I worked at Bob's, but you never know. Maybe you want to make one tomorrow. And that's an over easy egg. The third egg we'll be making is the classic scrambled egg. I like to add a little bit of baking powder to mine. It's supposed to help them fluff up a little bit and then a tad bit of water. I don't do milk. People think milk makes it creamier or fluffier. It it just doesn't. It, I like water. I, I've been told numerous times that milk makes it better, but I'm pretty sure it's an old wives' tale. So I go ahead and use a little bit of water and baking powder to make them fluffier. If you want to make them creamier, you add butter. So water and butter. I don't use milk. Always scramble your eggs in a glass bowl. That way if any shells go in, you can see. You don't want to do it in like a white bowl. Put my butter down on the griddle. Moving around a little bit with the oil, that way it doesn't burn. I love cooking my scrambled eggs in butter. I, I cook my fried eggs in oil, my scrambled eggs in butter. Here comes a scrambled egg. 
just move it around a little bit while I'm pushing on the griddle. Continuous movement is what they used to say when I worked at Bob's. Just kind of keep it moving to kind of get it fluffy so it's not one flat egg pancake, you know. You just kind of keep it moving around and you want to get that scrambled look and texture to it. Also, you got to make sure your griddle's clean. So if you just did bacon or potatoes or there's a lot of salt and seasonings down there, wipe it down with a towel or something. Because if not, you'll get that's how you get those black flakes in your eggs, especially bacon. It's good cooking it in bacon grease if you want to do that. But you got to make sure there's no bits of bacon floating around your griddle or you'll get black eggs. And there you go. Got some scrambled eggs. The final egg that we'll be doing is basted. So basted is similar to poached in that you use water to kind of steam it. But it's not the same because a poached egg you do in water on a stove and it'd be boiling and you spin around. This is on the griddle. You cover it up, put some water down, cover it up with a dome. You can see that it, it starts to cook on the bottom and it gets a little bit of a different look than a sunny side up. But you want it to kind of film all the way over. Almost like it's over easy, but not quite. So we're going to add a little more water and put it back under the dome. Another trick I've done for this is use an ice cube and you can use a lid to put on top of it. You could use the dome or the lid. I just use this lid so you could see what's going on underneath it because it's glass and the ice cube just melts and then steams it and you end up with a nice basted egg like that where it's got that film. It's cooked all the way over the top but it's running in the middle. Again, it's similar to poach. You could make some eggs benedict with this. 